Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, part 9. I think that's going to be one of the best ones we have in this series. So in the past episode, we were able to uh, play an episode, and this is what we have. But the thing is, we have one issue, it's the background mode don't work. So what I mean by that, it's if I swipe my real phone, it's not the simulator, it's my real phone. If I click play, nothing's happening right now. Play uh, forward, nothing is happening. But from here, everything is working. So we need to change that and fix this. So the first thing is I've done a mistake and we're gonna fix that right now. So go back to your services. Okay, this thing right there. We're gonna modify that quite a bit. I forget to do something in the, I think that was one of the first video and I think it's time to fix this issue, okay? So, uh, what we uh, gonna do it's we're gonna add our remote stuff here so you see here we have the remote play remote post so they should work but you're gonna see why in a moment but what i want to do is i'm gonna remove those we're gonna just listen for those three but here i'm gonna modify that just to become like a module that export i know it's the same thing it just i feel like it's gonna be a bit simpler if we follow what they um what they have uh, show uh, in their um in the documentation and, but now the thing is the issue it's we did the register playback services from the app.js and i want to remove that because i want to listen to this register from the root of everything so just copy those lines right there in the index.js after the app registry but we don't want this way we want to get right from here the require so src services track player services that's it it's gonna be almost the same thing it's just i think it's best practice to follow what the documentation asks us to do so just to make sure everything still work now if i type full i'm gonna be able to get the syntax from west bus i can get play everything should work but you see nothing has changed here so this is the thing we still need to fix so for now what we need to do it's after the setup player is done this is where you need to put them their capability of what you want this player to do. So after is ready, or before is ready, I'm gonna say track player that update option. This thing take an object, and inside this object we can put some capability. The capability it's an array of capability finally of what you want your app to be able to do. So now if I do track player, I want to be able to play. I want to be able to pose, uh, capability uh, pose. I want also to be able to stop. I want also to be able to jump forward and jump backward. So that's gonna let us going further and backward from the uh, uh, background stuff. After that also, we want to be able to uh, you can set the jump interval so you know like if I go there right now we don't have the jump you see but I want to be able to have a, an interval of like 30 seconds for my case I just want to follow like what uh, Apple have so now I'm gonna refresh the app and now you're gonna see one issue after that so I'm gonna search full to get the West Boss one I'm gonna click play and now I'm gonna go here you see now we have we have the 30 and 30 plus now I'm able to play with that you see now I'm able to control right from here and that's because of those things but now the thing is if I click play and I go 30 you see nothing is happening because we need to do something with this event because right now they don't give you nothing for free you need to add some event for that so now here what i can do is i can add an event listener to remote jump forward so when it's forward here we're gonna be able to receive an interval and this interval is gonna be a number and this interval is the one you did pass in the app.tsx jump interval right there and now here my job here is going to be first to put that as an async 
because the first thing we want to get is the position of the current uh, podcast. We want to get its position <coughs> because if we want to call track player seek, so seek, it's a way for you to jump to where you want to go. I want to get the position plus the interval. That's it. So that's going to be the position right now. So example, 0, 14 seconds to get to 44. And now we can do the same thing with the backward. So backward is going to be the same exact thing. But now the difference, it's going to be minus. That's it. So now I'm going to save. And I'm going to just refresh to get the good luck. And now I'm going to do again the same thing. So if everything is working, I should be able to play. And I'm going to just... And now I'm going to go there. And now look. I get to 30, 40. Now I get to 112. And now you see, just because you have some issue, uh, error. Uh, don't know why the um, this thing up here, like the backward here, it's pretty strange. But the thing is, from what I read in the docs, they have uh, some issue in debug mode, but it's fixing when you uh, uh, do this in um, production. But now we have one other issue. If I click play and I quit, the it's stopping. You see it's stopping right now because it don't print background. Here it's not a background, it's just a notification center. But here is the background when I do this and it stops. So we need to fix that. And the reason for that is we need to sign in from some compatibility and it's working by default in Android. So if you use Android, this is already working. But for us in uh, iOS, what we need to do is First thing, you open your My Podcast right there, My Podcast right there, and you click on Capability, and you click on Background Mode, and you click on Audio, Airplay, and Picture. I know I need to rebuild uh, the app. So it's just because you need to think about that. You know iOS have a lot of security and stuff like that, and they ask the developer of the application to always tell them, like, which kind of native API you're going to need to use and stuff like that. So even if we will have built that in just Swift and Objective-C and something like that, we will have need to trigger this mode. So it's something like pretty normal to do right there. So now we get, need to wait the, the build. It's a bit slow. I'm going to just slow the simulator to win some CPU. And also, just before we go further, I know we have some issue with the duration and stuff like that. This is something we're going to fix. Like if we get uh, 51 hour and 55 minutes, uh, it don't make any sense. Then <laughs> uh, this is something we're going to fix. Plus, also, you did see we get some HTML. So if I go back to the syntax episode, so if I search back for full and I get a syntax right there, you see right, right here is some HTML. Don't worry, we're going to fix that. So now it's time to test. So I'm going to play. And now I jump in background. And now it still works. And now my user can swipe here, click pause, click play, forward, backward, forward, backward. So this thing is working. That's awesome. Now the only other thing I want to do in this episode is Apple have this uh, Apple podcast have this little uh, sick flower uh, on this mini player. That's the only thing we're gonna add just to finish this one. It's gonna be pretty simple. Jump back to your mini player. One thing I want to do is I want to wrap all of them. Uh, it's already all of them in a box where I'm gonna say MR10 because now after this box, I'm gonna have another box where I'm gonna put another touchable opacity where I'm going to have now my icon with the same size. So it's 30 as the other one. And the name here is going to be rotate, rotate CW. So now if I save, you see now we get this big icon like that. You can change color and stuff like that. You just, I mean, it's your choice. But now I want my player context to have this seek uh, action. So here, 
I'm going to add another function called seek2. By default, you're going to be able to get a number, but it can be undefined. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think I'm going to call that like a value. Uh, it's a number, it can be undefined. Not value. Amon is going to make more sense. And now we need here to have a default value. So I'm going to say seek2. And now here we're going to create a function. So seek2 is going to be the same exact thing we just did um, in the register services. So the thing is the amount here by default is going to be 30. And now here, remember, we need to get first the position. And after that, you're gonna uh, go forward. So it's uh, await around track player that's sick two position plus amount like that. And now you just need to pass this sick two function. And now your mini player gonna be able to call this function from the on press. So player context dot seek to like that. So now if I play and now I can go forward. And now it works. So it's pretty nice. And the thing I like it's you see because we listen to events. So that's kind of why it's really nice to work with even listener and stuff like that. It's, you see here, right now I'm in pause. If I go back, I'm in pause also. Now, if I play from here, this one it's play. And the reason why, it's because we just listen to even. So, if you think about that, what is happening right now? It's we listen here to the playback state. The playback state trigger here, would trigger the is playing, is pause and stuff like that. But the thing is, when I click here for play, this that. stuff is changing. So you see, if I show my, if we show the player state, if we show the player state, now I play, you see, player state is playing. If I pause, player state is paused. If I play from here, it's playing, it's paused. And now because we, we listen to that, and this thing, change the state we make this uh context to re-render pass it the new value this one can follow so you don't need to you don't need to kind of like oh if i play from one i need to trigger the button from the other so that's something i really like about this library it's because it's kind of even based uh, it's awesome it's kind of like when you play with uh, the dome and stuff like that you can add even snr and just listen for the same event so it's perfect for that and yeah, uh, so thanks pretty, pretty good for this video. In the next one, we're gonna fix this uh, our stuff where we have a lot of issues. So just to show you, if you look here syntax, it's not supposed to be 51 hour and 55 minute. It's supposed to be 51 minute and 55 second. And here we want to fix also the HTML. So we're gonna need to add another, um, another package. Uh, but also one thing I want to fix is the image. You see right now the image are pretty slow to render. So if I search for full like that and I click here and I click play, look at the bottom, it's become blue and after that get because you need to load the image. But the thing is the image is already right there. So because the same URL should be already pretty fast. So it's something again we want to fix. So we have a lot of stuff still to do. We want also a big player screen. So when you uh, click on this uh, small button player, mini player, we're gonna be able to put it bigger like Spotify and stuff like that. So yeah. So I hope you enjoy and we're gonna talk in the next one. Please subscribe, click the like button if that was something you like. And the code's gonna be on GitHub part nine. Have a good day everyone, bye.